Well, uh, we've seen uh, polling data come back uh, showing that uh, I would be the best candidate to take on Donald Trump. And I think uh, one of the things that many voters I have uh, encountered on the trail have in common, by the way, not just true blue Democrats, but independents and a lot of Republicans who are sick of this president. The uh, big thing that so many folks have in common is the importance of defeating this president. Now, that's not just about ideology. It's about a lot of things. What we know for sure is we're not going to be able to beat Donald Trump by recycling the same political mindset that brought us to this point. What I'm offering is something completely different, and I'm insisting that what it takes to govern is also what it's going to take to win. I'm the best candidate to do that, to turn the page, to move us into a different future, and that's uh, uh, such a priority right now, knowing that this is our one shot, our only shot to defeat this president. What is it that you're offering that is completely different, Mayor Pete? Just that you're a small town mayor? Because your brand of talking point platitude politics is like identical to every best Democratic politician of, you know, the past few decades. But it's just really transparent what he's doing. He's using very unsubtle campaign language to be like, I'm young, which weirdly plays well with a lot of voters, specifically middle aged ones. Uh, young people don't really care that like Bernie's old, for example. Um, and the second one, the more egregious one, is that he's is the one he started out with, that he uh, that all the data shows that he's the best candidate to defeat Trump. All empirical data shows that that's not true, but he knows it's the number one issue for primary voters above all else. That's what we have to reckon with, by the way, as progressives. All of the core issues we believe in, health care for all, ending the endless wars, college for all, debt forgiveness, criminal justice reform, all of that won't matter if the Democratic primary voters don't believe that candidate can defeat Trump. Which is why Buttigieg is saying polling data shows he's the best candidate to do so when that is just not the reality. The most recent poll that included Buttigieg, a Fox News poll, had Biden, Bloomberg, Bernie, and Warren all beating Trump <laughs> by more significant margins than Buttigieg. Yeah, Bloomberg, by the way, although I, I don't think it, th this hypothetical polling thing stands for him. Uh, how about another? The CNN poll uh, from, from earlier this month has Biden again having the highest probability to, to defeat Trump. Although, again, I do think that falls because he's so easily attackable and unmobilizing. Bernie's numbers are always lower because he 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 turns out uh, tra tra non-traditional voters, millions of them. So then you have Bernie by seven, Warren by five, Buttigieg by just four, and, and Bloomberg also theoretically winning by a wide margin. And how about one more? An IDB TIPP poll, which has enormously conservative in its findings here, has Warren actually losing to Trump and then Bernie and Buttigieg uh, tied. But once again, there is no poll that I can find on the national level that has Buttigieg as the best candidate to defeat Trump. So he's just lying. You know, I would never say Biden's lying if he consistently was using that message because it's true. You know, he does use it a lot. Let's be re real here. But I think Bernie would be the best candidate against Trump. But in terms of the polling, Biden is doing the best. Um, but speaking of Bernie, Buttigieg is sending this message out in his fundraising emails too, saying that he's better to defeat Trump than the crazy socialist leftist Bernie. Among the fundraising emails was one with the subject line, Trump's team wants Bernie to be the nominee, sent by deputy campaign manager Hari Sev Sevigan. Sevigan. The former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, 38, said he generally signed off on such notes if they were made in his name. I stand by any of the communications that have come out from my campaign on this, he added. So that by itself isn't too bad. It's not true. But if he wants to make the argument that his message is better versus Trump, fine. But paired with lying about the polling data, it's just like a little creepy. He's really willing to bend everything to this his to fit his messaging. So Fact check, Mayor Pete, fact check. What you're saying here is demonstrably, provably false about the polling data.